There we go. Pathfinder 2. This is awesome. This guy's going to give us a fire bow. Oh. Yes, he's red. Let's kill him. Hey guys, so my brother-in-law and I finished the forge. Uh, unfortunately, I was fin I was rendering out the video, the the main channel or the tutorial channel video for the forge. And because my computer was actively rendering that video, it ended up really messing up the footage. So you can see, uh, you can see here that uh, basically, here, okay, here's we're fighting Iron Golem. You can see it just does these huge skips, you know, and it it not only skips the audio like this. This is actually playing. This is, uh, but it also skips. Or not, it not only skips the video, but it also skips the audio. So it really is unusable footage. Uh, but to summarize what happened is we ended up killing the Iron Golem the first try. Uh, it was actually pretty easy once uh, Luftatar understood the, the idea of bringing him around in a circle. Um, I was able to just do a lot of damage to him. And we did a lot of talking through it. Uh, but then we we did it, and honestly, it did. We blew through it really quickly once we were ready to do it. Um, and you can see here that Luftatar is just tanking the damage, and and it's really choppy, but he's he's doing well. And again, it's just skipping things, and. And then I move over here. Wow, it's just so choppy. This is why I couldn't I couldn't show it. Uh, but it was pretty uneventful. We killed him pretty quickly. Uh, we have lots of durability left on the on the Rast staff, and everything worked out pretty well. So we've been you know repairing things and kind of everything's going back. And now now we're here. We are. We're we're gonna get in some green gear. We're gonna go on a raid. Uh, it's the new update now, and um, it is debatable whether or not raiding, you know, anyone's even really raiding for fun anymore, uh, or not anyone, but like basically a lot of people are just clicking that raid button to see if someone else will attack them. Um, but because there's no forced raid, there's not a lot of people raiding others. Uh, luckily, we're low level enough that we might get matched in such a way that we can raid others. And I guess we can feel less guilt about, you know, taking out someone who's maybe mismatched um, because they have the option to raid. They don't have to raid if they don't want to. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Hey, Luftatar, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited to go on a raid with you. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's been a while. No, I know, but uh, I wonder if uh, we hit that five minute mark, does that mean that we're gonna be raiding a bot or is it the, a guarantee that it's gonna be another player? The 10 minute mark, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, if we hit, So we can avoid the 10 minute mark to avoid a bot. I mean, there's no point. You don't need a shield anymore, so we can stop it at the five minute mark. Also, you know, in in thirty minutes, a uh, we could we could go to Druids as a duo. That'd be kind of fun. That would be great. Yeah, I'd love that. I don't have much with me other than mushroom soups, and I have an armor potion with me and some stun grenades. That's great. All I have is bandages and bolus. I've got a okay. poison a poison bow. So if we find a guy in purple gear, the two of us together have you know at least have a chance of killing him especially with your raider axe and shield i think we have we have a pretty good chance but we'll see now what's the strategy on finding people like this just run around and see if someone pops up or this is the fastest strategy so since we're recording it um this is the one i prefer uh because it's kind of boring some of this is the least boring approach to find PvP. Um, you know, some people... Okay, we already matched. Okay, this is a bot. We might as well kill it, though. It has some decent gear. Here, I'll take him. You go get the gear. Smart. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I'm just going to kill it. All right, I got his gear. And... 
Where is it, huh? <laughs> Come raid Come me. Come raid me. Well, good. <laughs> okay. Should we go over? Yeah. Let's get our... I'm going to put this bot stuff away. And Sounds then we'll good. go. Oof. <laughs> this guy is super pay to win. <laughs> yeah. Stone walls all the way. Even the little extras. Yep, this is the new rating system. Is he shooting at us from the inside of the wall? I don't know. I can't hear because I I turned the volume down. I couldn't find the thing I needed. This is awesome. This guy's going to give us a fire bow. <laughs> this is crazy. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. That was a great raid. I this think is, a, great this is a great raid. We just we just raided this guy with metal walls and got a fire bow. We're we so good at this. No resources. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even use any durability on our weapons. That's how good we are. <laughs> Dude, I, that was unbelievable how fast we got that fire bow, too. I know. We knew exactly where to find it. I mean, it was incredible. <laughs> yeah, he says it's his third fire bow. Nice. What else can he give us? Um, Yo, one and one v one. So I just recently got Fire Mage three. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> we have no class threes. So there is a new class in the game. It's super OP. It's actually not that OP for solo players. So I don't know why he's pushing that hard for it. Just for fun. But but for family, even just a a two player game. Like like if I were able to get it. The problem is you have to get 40 you have to invest 40,000 points to just unlock the ability to start working on it and then it's 20,000 points to unlock it. Um, but the reason why it's so OP is because you can basically turn your team invisible for 20 seconds. And so you can get perfect positioning no matter how you know no matter where the other team is you can get exactly where you want to be and start the fight exactly where you want to fight it. And it's just such a really powerful class. Did you read what he just said? <laughs> Some dude texting me saying there's a bounty on your head? What? <laughs> I hope he means the game head. <laughs> I don't know why. I get so excited every time I get a fire bow. It's just so fun. All right. I'm going to go back there. I doubt that he's just going to kill me. And even if he does, he can't. he's not going to get much. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to I'm gonna work on getting some points. Don't spend all of our points. No, I need to get Sharpshooter 2. You've been telling me I need to get a level 2 class. And you've been wasting it on all the level 1s. No, I have not. <laughs> take it back. Okay, I'll take it back. <laughs> How do I rephrase it so that I'm not saying the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mainly looking for copper. Yeah, everyone and their mother is looking for copper. Speaking of copper... You, sir, have a lot of massive jests. You have been killing it. Well, because of you, really. No. I mean, yes, people give you some good stuff because of me. <laughs> like this fire bow. Totally right. <laughs> um, by the way, I, I don't know if I... I think I told you this already, but I've never told you this while recording. Um, we found a way that if we get good at it, it's going to be difficult and we're going to lose a lot of resources as we get good at it. But if we get good at it, we can uh, duo the archives and get Gorgon helmets. So I'd be willing to try it. Oh, and I'm already Rogue 2 on this account. Um, okay. Yeah. You know what? So basically, once I make the video, the kind of the tutorial on it, that way you can watch that. Then, yeah, we'll give it a try and see if we can make it happen. I don't want to try right now because it's honestly, it's pretty hard. And in a lot of the effort, a lot of the success is dependent on you and you playing well as the tank. My job is kind of easy as the damage dealer. Um, but do we have an Earl of Grey Cutter? The the purple dagger that's not a fire dagger? I believe so, yeah. I think we have like two or three of them. Okay, great. Yeah, we're going to need a couple of those. So I'm like halfway through Berserk 3. Dude, you are killing it. Yeah, in the last video we posted, um, 
a lot of people were saying like, oh my gosh, your brother-in-law is becoming pro. He's so good. And it's true. I've noticed you're, you're just doing great. There was one guy who was like, there is no way this is the first time your brother-in-law is doing uh, the forge. I mean, technically I've been doing Odin, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, and that's what I told him. I was like, look, I mean, he's been doing, he's been doing Odin solo, which makes him, you know. A little bit more comfortable. Yeah, that, that I'm, sounds... I'm also, I'm, I'm also feeling like I understand the game. A lot of the stuff, a lot of, like, getting really good at one area of the game, you know, is often what it takes to get really good at another area of the game. <laughs> you got the other guy. It's all right. Boom. It turns the healer, actually. Be yeah, better. healer is just the best. It's just the the healer class is just the PVE class. Like the ones I have, huh? people that love PVE are like they just love the healer class. Fabric, I'm so excited. <laughs> you using it for points now? I did once and I literally ran out of all my fabric. I was so pissed. <laughs> you have to use so much of it. Yeah, you really do. And then and fabric's so needed for so many things, so Okay, all right, on go. three. Ready? Make a tag on three on both of these guys. Okay, three, go. Three, two, one, go. So you can't get to you can't get sneak attacks on both guys. Really? Yeah. Are you ready for the buff? Mm, I mean, it's the two giants first. Oh. Let's do that. Watch out. Oh, is that watch two out, and watch one? Watch out! Yeah, it's two and one. Ooh. I'll punch you to death. I'll punch you. I'll punch you to death. Should we clear the rest of the tomb or? What do you think? It's up to you. I'm following your lead. I mean, we you got know, all. I've never actually, I've never actually cleared the entire tomb here. Well, don't get these two rooms. They're the in the scorpion, which is this is the scorpion tomb. Those two rooms are never worth it. So. Oh really? Um, but the top rooms are worth it. There's a guy in here. Ooh, is he red? No. Yes, he's red. Let's kill him. Not, what are you talking? About? Let's kill him. Oh, I'm red. What are you talking about? He's not red. I'm red. Should I not be red? He's leaving. Yeah, he's leaving because he's scared of me. There's nothing on. Leave him alone. Oh, man. I wanted to sneak attack him. All right. Well, you and I should be uh, the same. He doesn't... <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know you were red. For no, I know. It was my fault. I, I should have been aware of... Of my uh, whether or not I was on aggressive mode. <laughs> is this first room any good at all? Um, it depends on the tomb. Um, let's see, redstone, scorpion. I, I think it's not worth doing, but I think this one is. Oh really? Let me let me look it up. Let me just let me just. It's you have a way hard. to tell. It's not that hard just to look at my video. Uh. Tombs, JCF, Ultimate Guide for Tombs, and skip the commercial. The Zones of Frost. Oh my gosh, whose voice is that? That's annoying. All right, we got Worm, we got Dragon. Here we are. No, no, Dragon. We, we're looking for Scorpion. Scorpion, Redstone. Here we go. Uh, yeah, definitely don't do that. And yes, okay, I was right. So uh, we want to get s4 and s8 here i'll show you that so here's s4 wait i'm not there I'm getting some plus here i need fabric oh watch out. 
You get that other guy the maze, I'm, and I'll I'm gonna get, get him. Toto, Toto. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. All right, Boom. so we Give should your fat break. Be, should be able to get these chests without. Oh, never mind. I got him. I got him. You get the chest. I got him. All right. Okay. Come here. Come here. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I'm good. All right, I got that chest. This is good. This is a. This was. Ooh, I got a, a, a another steel axe for you. Nice. I love them. Now that I know you love them, I'm excited to get them for you. Oh my gosh! I triggered this guy. That's so stupid. I mean, I'm I'm uh, over here uh, having a blast, looting chests. I'm here almost dying. That's nice. Do you need my help? Nah, it's okay. I killed the little guy. I triggered a little Ooh. guy while I had this big guy on me. I got another good little, good little loot. Watch out. Oh. Kill, kill, kill. No, not you. Kill the other guy. Not you. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm trying, but I got hit. Take it. Nice save. All right, I looted everything we need to loot in the small rooms. Right, let's get out of here. Wait, Dude. I want to see if this guy has fabric. Trigger his skill. Boom. I need your fabric. Yes, you did. Two fabrics. Nice. <laughs> Go. Ooh, fabric. Oh. God. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly, tomb raiding is not my thing. <laughs> You're pretty good at it. Ooh, fabric? Oh, maybe fabric? No, one rope. Sad. Go, 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 go. I'm getting, I'm getting out of here. All right, you got 400 points for me? Give me points. This is all points here. All right. Um, but so pretty it's much. Forbidden. It's forbidden for me to open it. So all that green gear, with the exception of the. Hunter's gold. I actually do want to keep that for speed. All right. And also, my uh, I do want to keep the Raider's Axe and Shields. What? What? Okay, because I was curious about this. What class uses meal weapons? Melee weapons? Melee, yes. Yeah, sorry. So, uh, Berserk uses... Oh! I see what you're saying. No. No class uses just melee weapons. Oh, interesting. So yeah. that's that's why they kind of suck, because there's no class that goes with them. Oh yeah, my okay. gosh, I only need 141 points. Boom. Yeah, see you. Where are you? There we go. Pathfinder 2. Okay, so I need to reach level 45. Uh, never mind. Don't need to do that anymore. Um, okay, I need to cut down 12 maples and kill wolves in Giant's Forest in Garm's Fang. There's a red guy. Another bot. So many bots. Do you need help? No, the giant killed him. I mean, technically I killed him, but the giant did all the work. There's two bodies. All right, I'm gonna start another raid. We totally missed the Druids event. I was having so much fun doing points, I guess. We've never even done Druids together, right? Got three leather strips from that one. Nice. You're like a leather strip magnet. I crave them now, like you. You got me hooked on <laughs> Got gotcha. you. I'm a little bit of a leather strip, uh, strip addict. A leather strip junkie. Yeah, you're gonna have to. There's gonna have to be an intervention at some point. A um. I an might L have to go in aggressive an, mode though. <laughs> an LAA uh, leather strip or LSAA leather strip anonymous. <laughs> hey, how many maples did you get? I got two. Well, now we need ten more. If I get enough wolves. I'll just gym the 
the maples. Actually, I, I think we can, because I got five, I could do five at your, at your um, base, so. Yeah, and in a couple of days, if you can get on here every day, you can plant two more each day. Yeah. Yeah, and okay. Great. And either way, I need that maple, so that's great. All right, I'm looking for wolves in Garm's Fang. Three did you chests. take purple weapon? What did you say? Did you take purple weapon? I took a hell staff. To turn it in for points? Yeah. No way. You never turn in purple weapons for points? No. You just haven't got enough purple weapons yet. I don't feel like we do. Well, we're never going to use a hell staff. I suppose that's true. What about the cutter of Grey Clan? That's what we need for the archive, so we don't want to use that. But I thought he said meal weapon, melee weapons are not like. So you're right. Uh, okay, so there's melee, which any weapon that is just melee is kind of. Uh, like no, the great cutter is also a dagger. It says melee comma dagger. Oh really? You see that on there? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, the dagger is underneath. I need to kill one more wolf. We might get matched with the bot, I guess. Oh yeah, I'm gonna cancel search. Glad you mentioned sure. that. Yeah, we would have gotten matched with the bot for sure. Oh well. Yeah, I just think they broke the matchmaking system. And uh, with the new update. But I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm not, I, I hope they fix it, but you know, it seems like the devs are working on experimenting, and so I'm fine with that. You know, they they need to experiment a little bit. I mean, I imagine they're probably losing a lot of customers just due to the fact that they can't keep up with the raids. Yeah, I'm sure that, uh, you know, the, the raids is definitely something they needed to deal with. I just don't think the, the way that they just dealt with it was the right way to deal with it. How would you have done it differently? So the first thing I would have done is remove any any of the matchmaking problems that would have put the blame on, you know, me as a as the developer. So, for example, two versus one, that's a very easy thing to fix. You know, you make it to where you don't get matched with two v one. Like you just don't match two players versus one players. That might create more bots. You know, you might create more like matching with bots because you know you have less matching pool but it just it's just dumb you get matched with both both parties complain the people that are one player that get matched with two people that are you know dominate them they're like man this was such a bad matchmaking system and the two people that are low level that get matched with the really high level person that is able to kill both of them Again, I say, man, this is such a bad matchmaking system. So it's just a dumb, it was just a bad matchmaking system. And that's the number one thing I would do different. That was the first thing I would do would be fix the matchmaking system because that's going to create, it's going to create more loyalty. It's going to create, um, people are just less complaining. Level 68. Nice. One more level and you get your max doors. Oh really? Yep. No way. Sixty nine is is the is what every free to play player should achieve. How many doors do you get to your max amount of doors? Forty five doors, fifty five chests. How many doors do I have now as opposed to what I'm gonna have? I think thirty eight. 
It's like a plus seven, maybe plus six. Oh, wow. That's a huge amount. It's a lot, yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, I could easily just, you know, get the maple trees, but in order for this episode to, to truly have the epic, you know, some, some kind of theme to it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just gem this, which gives me the Pathfinder 2. So now I have Pathfinder 2, which gives me a PvP level 2 class. You know, I've, I've already have the Rogue 2 on this account. That's not really a good PvP class. Uh, the Pathfinder 2 is not an amazing PvP class, but it's good enough to where uh, Luftatar and I can now do some pretty awesome PvP together. Um, with some level two classes. He is almost uh, level three berserk. He's been working really hard on that and um, he's been grinding hard for that. So I wanted to get at least a level two class so that I wasn't completely dead weight. Um, and there we have it. I'm now level two Pathfinder, uh, which when we do some, I don't know if they're gonna fix the rating system. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do a lot of rating. But whenever we do get a raid or when we're doing some, some duo PvP stuff, I'll at least have that extra 33% damage on that fire bow or whatever I'm using to kind of help him out so that, again, I'm not being complete dead weight on this account. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.